San Francisco will run this on different maps. I think Numbani comes to mind where they fake that they're going up and then they just drop down and they force the defense to respond to them. Well, there's the stick. Jake is gone. No more Brigitte. And well, there's a self destruct coming up from Cool Matt. Removes Sleepy, but these kills are definitely favoring San Francisco Shock. They're running away with this offense here. A little bit of a question mark with the lack of a widow, but they've made it work. Already a better offense than they had against London. That was a ridiculous map, by the way. They get into it here. San Francisco Shock are setting it up. Architect, he's got the blade, and there it is. Right into the mix. Going for the reflex. It was a little time, but hey, Benny, you gotta stay in the trance, otherwise, you're gonna die. Architect, though, gets laid low by Linkser immediately. It's only the one kill, but it's such a point. It's a like point winning ultimate. There comes over the top. Very hard to hide from it. And as they scramble away, Bannon gets taken out. Nowhere to go here for Jake. He needs to survive a little bit, though. Gets whittled down eventually by Sinatra. That sets it up here for Linkser to get picked as well. That's Architect actually finding the kill on Linkser. If you're trying to come in, Diva Demect out of this mix, still very back and forth. Not a dominant winning fight yet. Another transcend comes out, forces it out of Rockus. These are just back and forth. Sinatra again with the rally so quick because he's been in these fights. He's generating this ult charge so rapidly now. There are the kills that are going to make the difference though. Bonnie and Kulma out of it. And well, you do have exactly Jake who's kind of hanging around on the point trying to contest, but it's just not going to be enough. Rockus is going to get punched to death. Muma is here. He will be the last line as he is trying primal. desperately to hold on. And yes, with the primal, that's going to allow for Bonnie to run back in with the, with Cool Matt as well. Yeah, he just barely got it off just at 99, just mashing Q, hoping that it comes online. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Matt's trying to stall this out. The respawn advantage is huge for the defense, but at some point, you got to put some green in the left side of the kill feed. Yeah, it's just not happening. Bonnie, though, somehow survives. As soon as he goes out into the open, though, he is dead, and Cool Matt not going to be able to make it in time. We will have all three points picked up here for the San Francisco. Economy reset. Puts him back to square one. It's going to be that full fight. And yeah, this is like going duck hunting right now. Yeah, Benny was rezzing him as Cool Matt died, and then as Jake went down too. So not necessarily his fault. Dealing it. Cool Matt hanging on by a threat. Flank comes through. Sinatra bounce Moma. The main tank is dead now for Houston Outlaws. And with 20 seconds on the clock, that's not ideal. Far from it. Bonnie looks Whoa. like, oh, that's a big kill, though. Links are with the double pulse. Sinatra and Super out of it, as well as the Bongos. Houston Outlaws, they might have made us wait, but it's looking like they're going to get the job done here at the very last. They throw everything they have into it, because why not? You absolutely have to. It's going to be it. This is it. I mean, right now, Super's back into it. Gets rezzed up. Or not rezzed. Choi gets rezzed. Architect instead finds a headshot on Linkser. And that could be all that they're waiting for here as far as the Houston Outlaws are concerned. But we will have a kill coming in from Muma. That's Sinatra out of the mix. Choi, however, removes Jake. This is just going to be back and forth right on the point. Two meters left here. And they are able to contest at the last second. San Francisco Shock keeping this fight running. Muma just standing in the front line now, trying to find some damage wherever he can. That shield definitely needed here. The respawn advantage should be huge for the defense. They should be right around the corner. All the kills come in, and the San Francisco Shock will take the first map against the Houston Outlaws. Houston Outlaws, one pace at a time, trying to draw San Francisco in, trying to force somebody to overextend themselves and open it all up. Linkster gets the headshot on Sinatra. That's the kill that will favor the Houston Outlaws, but there will be a trade with Architect finding Linkster. Back and forth here is Architect! Okay then, decides to go bonkers and picks up all the kills. Architect blows him away like a house of leaves, dashes through, gets a absolutely lost on this map previously, right. and now they get the first push. Let's see, there's one dash, there's another dash, and all the dashes. Three pushes, three, three little separate ticks here, getting a little bit more progress on the point. Houston has to pop Valkyrie, man. He did stay alive, did get Valkyrie up, and now they're working their way towards more important ultimates, but they don't need to use any more than that because they just killed Moth, which usually signals pretty close to the end of the fight. Rockus is going to have to transcend, though. You would love to have had that. Yes, and well, right now, these are kills that are building it up here. Yeah. San Francisco looking good. Moma's going to throw himself in there, but the Primal will eventually wear off, and with that Discord, he'll get melted anyway. And just like that, Cool Matt looked like... By Rockus. No, no hesitation on his side. Linkster just wants to stay alive. He had all the energy in the world to do the damage, but couldn't quite make it stick. Architect... And Sinatra finding the kills here for San Francisco. Shock and Choi even chime in. And there we go. Architect really doing work. So San Francisco now. Defense looking pretty solid on Houston Outlaws. With the ults now, though, like on Blizz, we saw a great push out of them to pick up that first point. There's still a chance here for Houston to make it right. Oh. Linkser dead. 
Architect finds him. Bounty going for the res. Right out of the middle of nowhere. No problem though. His tank's drawing the attention of Architect. Allow him to get it off. So we're back into this, but nobody on the point. Rock is zoom yachting in there. And it's 10% off of that alone. We're gonna get up there. Jake though. Excellent work. Back to back rockets on Architect, and that's gonna be a big one now. A lot of DPS lost here. Sleepy falls to Linkser as well. And Houston Outlaws at the very bitter end might be able to turn it around here. Yeah, I think it's time to just die or get out. Uh, they've already said that they, they, it already looks like they're not going to use any more ults. They already committed Valkyrie to that one and they lost this fight. Totally fine. You're at 99%. You need one more fight and that is it. Uh, they do get a nice late stagger. I definitely would love to do that. This, oh man, the, the focus of attention right there. As we will get monster kill for Baby Bay. If he wanted anybody with that dead eye, it was definitely Bonnie. They will manage to get the volleys in trading the Faras, but with no res possible here for the Houston Outlaws. Things are looking up for San Francisco Shock, especially if Baby Bay's just hitting back-to-back -back headshots. Just plunks them from a long range, too. Who needs a scope when you've got Baby Bay? There you go. A nice re-entrance. <laughs> they don't care too much about that, but still. Yes, it is frustrating. Sleepy, well, speaking of frustrating, whoa, all the kills and the hook. Rockets get dead. And Toy sets it all up. Gets the follow-up on Bonnie. He's ruthless. As good as those hooks feel, the best feeling as a Roadhog is to alt fire at perfect range. Yeah. And you, it's just like, you feel it right away. You know. Oh, yeah, this is nasty. And here we go. Bonnie's out of it. We're going to get the follow-up. Jake is dead. Cormac nearly follows soon, only to get picked up by Choi. Thought he survived it? No. No, Choi thinks not. Architect and Sleepy both die, only one reservation. And Super with the Ultra, he's going for it right now, mass damage, and guess who's taking advantage of it? Sleepy again, the snake in the grass. Sleepy is so good, all they need to do is finish out this fight. Muma throws a shatter at the bongo because he hates music, but Super comes in and gets a couple more kills, The San Francisco Shock are gonna win this series. Fantastic work from the Shock. Question. Usually, it's a, sale? Yeah, no. usually it's a one-off here. They got him through the archway though, so now they can actually. I think Houston's going to posture up in front of this card and get too comfortable here. Architect with the reflect keeps himself alive, but Jake in the meantime has DMAC Choi. So right now, so far, things are looking very good here for Houston Outlaws. They are whittling down the time. 40 seconds left on the clock for San Francisco Shock to get this point one. Well, that's a resurrection though, and Moth is nearing a Valkyrie. Benny did pop his Valkyrie yet again, but Super and Sleepy both got on. Time to go back. Two spawn architect out in no man's land. Sinatra, I don't know if they've spotted him. We got the trans out. He is not getting too much joy here. Moma is at the Harden, but it is going to be him backing off. A couple of kills coming through. At least the D mech on Cool Matt and Will. Jake is going to fall to architect. So now we actually have San Francisco Shock making some progress here. And Houston Outlaws, they looked so good. They will be unable to hold in the end on the first point. Linkser can get in here to contest, but he's not going to last long. Bounty going to get decapitated as well. Surely a super slowly tases him. Architect is there, of course, to pick up the stats because he just barely squeaks it, but he's got a self-destruct of his own. Self-destruct on defense like that, I mean, you're, you're not getting your mech back. Teams have been so good about hunting down these pilot divas in those situations. Links are in a world of trouble already again. All the ultimates for both sides have pretty much been used now, so it's going to come down to just straight-up mechanics. Who can get better? There's a resurrection on Architect, a little mini alt in the middle of this. Super's in trouble, too. He's got very low. Muma's out of it there. The focus fire right now is excellent from the San Francisco Shock. Sleepy just so quietly getting shot. The work done! Unbelievable! He continues to get final blows there from Choi. Cool Matt in the meantime. I don't know if the same could be said for him. He's run out of D-Matrix, which means he's pretty much d mech and surely dead. Yes, yeah, Super will find him. And right now, kill after kill for the San Francisco Shock. Houston Outlaws after a strong first point hold. They might falter here at the end as the self-destruct gets thrown in. That's creating more space. Banny hanging on by a threat. Architect looking to clip those wings. Somehow Banny dodges him. Banny going for the bold res on Amuma, who will continue to be here to contest. Res is right in his face. They're going to drop a self-destruct to the bubble. Will contain it over top, living under that dome. Architect continues to dash through people. Moth finally falls. Houston is trying to stall this one out as best they can. Eventually, the offense pushes it all the way through. There's only but one man. Well, I mean, so far, Architect, in terms of final blows, he's six ahead of the runner-up. He's at 17. Runner-up is Linkser with 11. Another last push, so they just went in on it. There is still going to be another fight. San Francisco wants to fight this. They have a Valkyrie of their own, and they're going to come in with it. Yes, and now that is going to be the edge, perhaps, as Jake is brought back to life. Self-destruct right in the open. Moma. He loses the supercharger. The bongos are gone. They've been silenced. Sinatra, though. Monster! Monster tire! 
Fanny is gone. That's the money one right there. And Muma as well. 14 seconds on the clock here for Houston Outlaws. And it is looking pretty grim, Hex. Oh, this is going to be a brutal stagger, too. In fact, Matt's actually lucky that he finds a trap on the ground. They were going to let him live as long as possible. Still, though, now it's just kind of tr trickling onto the cart. The dragon will escort several of the members there, but it's only two alive. And the green wall is crumbling. Taken down brick by brick by the shock. San Francisco with the clean sweep. 4-0 to zero over the Houston Outlaws. Excellent performance from them. This is, look at this score line. Yep. A Go to our website at actionesports.com to stay up to date on the latest matches, highlights, and more from scores, match history, and specific game info. We've got you covered for all things Overwatch Esports. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out our channel for more action-packed content. Also, like and share this video, and click the subscribe button to join our notification squad. Thanks for watching.